Hello, people of the internet. I just went grocery shopping at Trader Joe's and now I'm headed home. I got a couple things for tonight and then some stuff for Kayla's birthday. Hope you can hear me. So I'm on my cell phone until further notice because I'm not home and I don't have the camera with me. Um, but as most of you may know, Kayla's birthday is January 14th. We are celebrating her birthday a week early and it's a surprise. So she knows nothing of what's happening. I'm not gonna tell you guys either. I'm gonna let that be a surprise, but I did pick some things up for her birthday. So pretty excited about that. I bought this cute bag from Trader Joe's. It's canvas or what they call jute. And I just love it. It's nice and big groceries all right guys back on the vlogging camera i am home and i'm about to put the groceries away um and i'm just gonna clean i think because our apartment is atrocious whenever we go away like you guys have heard it just becomes a mess and whenever kayla's on her five day for work it becomes a mess and i'm not home to keep it clean because i'm also working every single day this week so um, yeah, it's just a mess and I was gonna work out with Kayla tonight, but I think that I'm going to just like deep clean the apartment because I have tons of energy right now and it's just been bothering us the last, well, it's been bothering me <laughs> the last few days. I don't know about Kayla. I apologized yesterday for not being able to get a clean burn. She was like, don't apologize. Like, this is our life. This is what happens on the five day. So we have a bunch of clean clothes from doing laundry at the lake house. So those have to be put away. And I'm gonna do that after I put away the groceries. This song. It's so good. It's called It's called Go by Louise the Child. Since we talked last, I, is this fuzzy? No, it's clear, okay. I've done the dishes and I have a sweet potato here. I'm thinking of baking it. I may not. I'm going to make some eggplant for when Kayla gets home. I'm gonna bake that. And I've cleaned the rest of this general area. You may have noticed before our bags were sitting over there from when we were away for the weekend. So those are in the bedroom at the moment. I'm doing the bedroom last because this is where we spend our most time. Most of our time. Um, garbage. And yeah, I just felt like cooking something. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. This eggplant recipe is... Oh, the dishwasher's on if you're wondering what that noise is. It's the dishwasher. Um, but this eggplant recipe, Kayla did a Kayla Cooks a while back. I know you guys missed them. She is not done with them um she's just been really busy and this month is just like the busiest month ever unfortunately prob's not gonna happen this month but going to happen eventually so yeah if you guys like baked eggplant and want a vegan recipe then i'll link that down below if i can find it i think it's a kayla cook right now i'm just Putting a little bit of olive oil on the tray so the eggplant don't stick when they bake. And then I'm gonna top them with all of the yummy ingredients that the recipe calls for. I got everything on the pan, Z, plural, and I'm gonna put the toppings on and you guys will see them when they come out. And they're gonna be so good. Okay, we are out of a lot of the ingredients so I kinda had to improvise and they're two different batches. See how they turn out, I guess. So I just took the eggplant out. I burnt a couple, but I had a couple of the burnt ones and they weren't terrible. I just ate around the burnt stuff. These guys don't, <laughs> like what? Decided not to bake this guy. Kayla likes. Kayla doesn't like sweet potatoes baked, so I decided I wasn't gonna bake it. We can have it maybe like on our day off together for breakfast or something. But yeah, I just figure we can eat this together once she comes home. Unpacked this guy here, and now I just gotta put these clean clothes away. And good to go on the cleaning, just gotta make the bed. But I feel like it's kind of pointless to make the bed because we're gonna be going to bed once Kayla comes home. I don't really know, don't really know. Guys, if you watched yesterday's vlog, you'll know that I was waiting for a package and I never got it yesterday, but it's delivered today. We're gonna go figure out what it is. <laughs> I can't, you guys are gonna be like, what, why, why? I guess since I'm going over there, I should probably take out the trash and the recycling. This. 
Oh, two packages. So Kayla got a package and I got a package. I wonder what Kayla's package is, but I'm excited to show you guys mine. It's often that you guys ride our boxes. Not really. You've ridden one box once and that was a pizza box. Now you're riding my Amazon box, my Amazon package. So this is uh, the edited video. It just popped up on my screen and there's my face. Realized as I was talking that one of my neighbors was sitting outside smoking a cigarette and I was like talking, holding the camera up to my face and obviously that's not weird, but like it was just weird. So I was like, oh, I'm excited to show you guys and I'm sitting here like talking to a camera, so. And he just like smiled and that was that. Kayla's package, gonna leave this on the table. Probably a couple books that she ordered offline for Christmas gifts, I believe. All right guys, you get the first peek. I'm so excited. I hate all this plastic. Still not good enough. I need to get my little Gorilla Pod thing. I usually put you guys on the, these things because I'm too lazy to get the Gorilla, whatever it's called. Gorilla something, monkey, gorilla, I don't know. Here we go, guys. I have no idea what they're gonna look like, but they're freezing cold. I'm really excited. Besides the fog and the glare, like, I really like them. And yes, they are non-prescription glasses. I am that person. I do wear glasses, but as most of you may know, I have lazy eyes and that's what they're for. Here's the other pair, guys. I don't know if I like these. Not sure if I like these. I kind of like them. And I like that they came in a box. I will link both pairs down below if you guys want them. They were pretty cheap, like 10 or under or something like that. Oh my God, wait, I kind of like them. I don't know. Oh, do not even. <laughs> my name is Kayla. I'm sure you all know. Tell them. Uh... <laughs> Tell them which glasses you like better. Did you already show them what they look like? Yeah. I like the clear ones better. She likes these ones. <laughs> I asked them to tell me which ones they liked better. You look so cute in that sweater. <laughs> Thanks, I love it. Here we have some delicious eggplant. This, excluding that, because that's just burnt, but these are delicious tasting and Tess did a great job. I tried to make them like your old, the ones that you put up on the channel, but we didn't have all the ingredients. So I kind of just like winged it, wong it. Wing, wong, wing, wong. Do you want them with pasta sauce? No. Just like that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Oh Babe, look in the fridge. Go buy the almond milk. Ah! Good job! <laughs> they had it in. Yeah, they did. Cool. It's I'm gonna try some. The Trader Joe's almond nog. You can taste the almond in it, but it de definitely tastes like like eggnog. Cool. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm excited for you to try I it. I am. Okay. The problem is I don't really know what it's supposed to taste like. What? Yeah. <gasps> It tastes pumpkin -y and cinnamony. Yeah, there's, I looked at the ingredients, pumpkin puree is yeah. there for flavor yeah. or for look or something. For what? For the, the. It's good. What it's supposed to look like. I like it. Okay, yeah. It definitely tastes like traditional eggnog, but you can taste the like, if you, I mean, we drink almond milk on like a day-to-day -day basis, so you can definitely taste the almond milk in it, but it's really good. Go Trader Joe's. <laughs> We're gonna eat these guys and hang out. Yep. <laughs> what do you got there? Book. What book is that? Frog and Toad. Why do you have that book? Because I'm sending it to Allison. Who's Allison? My goddaughter. <laughs> well, what's your tradition? I send her a book every occasion. Books that I liked as a child. So adorable. Yeah. You cute girl. What is happening? I must have like itched myself or something. You're nervous to talk to people. I'm so nervous to talk to you guys. It's that time of the month again, guys. Why are you chewing in my ears? It is. <laughs> Not that time of the month. <laughs> it's the time of the month where we announce this month's 
top patrons. Woo! Who's the first one, babe? First one is Ken Pfeiffer. Ken Pfeiffer, you are awesome. This you are is awesome. what, like, month? This is month four of you supporting us. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Ken. And our second one, if you hear that in the background, that is Bella going to the bathroom. <laughs> she just likes to make a whole bunch of noise. Oh, that's Peter. Oh, it's Peter? Yeah. What the heck, Pete? Get it together, man. <laughs> Our second top patron this month is Lynette Seitz. Thanks, Lynette. Thank you. We appreciate all your love and support. You guys are just amazing. Yeah. We thank all of you guys who support us on Patreon. You're all so awesome and we love you so much. If you haven't checked out our Patreon and you're curious on how you can be called out in a monthly video, go ahead and click the link at the end of this video or in the bottom of our description box and check out the rewards and see how you can be called out in a video and how you can hang out with us on a Google Hangout mm -hmm. because we can't wait to hang out with you, Lynette. We're really excited. Okay, this is where we end this vlog. We love you guys so, so much and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.